Hi there. I want to talk to you about Bible study because I am doing a Bible study every Tuesday night. I want to walk with you through the Bible. This is my Bible, the Holy Bible. I just love this Bible. You know where I picked this up? Half Price Books. It's a Catholic Bible, NRSV, Newly Revised Standard. But I have lots of Bibles, and this is my absolute favorite. Everyone in, in the world should have this Bible. You know, it's okay to have two or three. I have probably 13, maybe maybe 14, maybe 20. I have so many Bibles. This is the living Bible. This is written in a language that we can all understand. It, I love the way it reads. It reads as if it's in your today's language, so understandable. Highly recommend it. I have been consuming the word of God for over 35 years now. When I first came to the Lord, now I was um, just a little Catholic girl. I was 29 years old. I had an experience with God. He called me. He called me and invited me to come and work for him. I freaked out and I said a huge freaking yes to God. I screamed yes. I he asked me, he said, I had been searching. I was searching for meaning, a meaning in my life. I had no meaning. I was a I was a mess. I was insecure. <clears throat> I was sinful, hateful. It very, very biggest thing in my life. I was very insecure. I was I didn't even have my own opinion. My opinion was whatever your opinion was, was good enough for me. And I was wanting to make something of my life. I wanted to be somebody important. I knew there was more out there. <clears throat> but one day, God spoke to me in the middle of my apartment. I was in the kitchen and I heard him say, Mary Beth, come to me first and then you will have the power. I don't know how he knew those words would just hit me. And I screamed, yes, I'm ready. I want you. And I have been changed ever since. I said, yes, because the almighty one wanted me. Just plain wanted me, needed me, wanted me to work for him, to come to work for him. And I said, yes. He wanted me. I just had an affair with a married man. I had had an abortion and he wanted me just the way I was. He didn't say, go get fixed up first. He didn't even say, go to confession first. He said, come to me. I want you. And I screamed. Yes. And from that day on, I've been in Bible study, in a prayer meeting, following him, seeking him ever since. That was 35 years ago, almost 35 years ago. And so I wrote this Bible study called the Holy Spirit. Lord and giver of life. And I want to share the Bible. This is really a huge Bible study because it's 28 weeks, but it's all about, it's really an old fashioned kind of Bible study. Lots of just read this and answer this, read this, tell me what you think. And I have notes, I have questions, but I, it's not just about the Holy Spirit. It's about God. It's about Jesus. It's about the whole salvation history why did Jesus have to come? Why did he die for us? Because Jesus and the Holy Spirit are one. You can't have one without the other. People out there, people want the spirit realm. They want the Holy Spirit. But there is no such thing as the Holy Spirit without Jesus. The two are one, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So this Bible was written for you. It was written with you in mind. It's full of his promises for you, full of his desires for you, full of his help, his promise of protection, his promise of healing. He's God, and he's the answer, and he's got the answer for you, the answer you've been looking for. And I want to give you a really huge good start as you open up these pages. We begin, actually, the very first chapter in reading about what the Word of God says about the word of God. So you're going to read about why we even need, need the word of God. What does the word of God do? What does the word of God say? And what does it mean? And why? And what does the word of God say about the word of God? So the very first weeks, 
I'm going to have you all over the Bible. Just for instance, I'm going to say, read Psalm 33, verses 4 through 9, just a few verses. Read Isaiah 40, 7 through 8. Read Hebrews. I'm going to have you all over the Bible, the very beginning. It's going to get you flipping through these pages and figuring out where things are. You're going to have a blast in this, and you're going to learn so much, but you're not just going to learn. You're going to have, like me, an encounter with God. That's my desire for you, that as you open up this book and go through these pages, I want you to have an encounter with God, because that's what this life is all about, you encountering him. And he wants you to experience him physically, emotionally, for real. And what you may have been doing is just reading and not getting anywhere because, I mean, come on, this is just a whole lot, right? So you might not be getting much out of it, but you're going to, because you're now going to be reading with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one to open up the word for us because the word was written by the Holy Spirit and it's spiritually discerned, not mentally discerned. You've got to have the spirit, this Holy Spirit and the spirit in you to open up what this word says. And when it opens up in you, when you, when you understand the word and it just changes your life, this is, this is going to be a life-changing experience. So join me click on the link in the comments or in my profile, wherever that link is, come and join me and sign up. February 13th, we start, but you can start anytime. I, this is, we're going to go through this slowly and it's, there's a lot of it. You can start anytime. What I even suggest is do as much or as little as you want each week, because you're going to go through it again. <clears throat> and maybe the second time you go through it, you'll read even more. You'll answer more of the questions. We're going to have so much fun. So what I'm going to do on Tuesdays is, and this is only 45 minutes, Tuesday nights, 7 to 7.45, we're going to discuss and I'm going to teach. See you then.